Okay, so in this one, we're going to bring in a second part to our baseline. So the next two bars up to the end of bar four. And we're going to drop out the bass that would normally come in at bar three as we've got our drums doing a, a bit of a shuffle there. Uh, let's play this round. So we don't want our bass line actually heading there. So it's going to move our lip locators across. I'm going to double click to create another two bar bass line. And if we double click to go in, I'm going to set our quantize to a quarter. And we'll just browse down our keyboard here. So we're on D1. So what we're going to do is leave a, a bit of a gap there. So I need to loop this round. Set this up yet for now, just to start the note here. So we've got that uh, playing out, um, we've got that sort of gap at the start there where the drums change, and then we'll bring another drum head in, or bass line in there. Let's make sure that this is sitting in the right place. Not sure why that's cutting out there, but we'll just bring this as close as we can to the next note. And then if we come out of here, we're just going to add in some more automation now to this bass line. So have a listen to the first one again. So we'll start off, uh, obviously that one doesn't sound just right, so I'll try changing this. Um, we'll try just actually uh, sort of morphing this down the way, so could try bringing this down to a nice long note at the bottom. Need to make our stop a bit finer here. We'll have that sort of morphing up as well. So we could obviously have a, another bass line coming in there, so that sits quite nicely. And then we'll go over to this next bit and we'll do something similar to what we had before. So. How about a 16th if we can? We'll have a go down to an 8th triplet. So we'll leave that as is, that sounds good there. And um, we'll bring across our first bass line again. So we just alt and click this across. We can drop this in at bar number five. And I'll bring across our automation too. Sorry, I just dropped that, landed in the wrong place. And we can loop that section. And we can just change the automation on this. It's all we need to do to actually change the rhythm. So we go down. Using the H key on our keyboard, we can zoom in. So instead of having this uh, changing pattern at the start here, we'll just delete these automation points. 
we'll have something simple like a hit note just playing. We'll leave that as is, and then the final one we'll just copy our distorted baseline from a second part across again, and we'll loop that round. So we can leave that one as is, uh, that sounds good. So we've got our eight bars of bass in our plan, and that sounds great the way it is. In the next tutorial, we'll bring in another bass line because this one is very central in the mix, and we'll bring another one that sort of fills it out and sort of morphs alongside it.